It's Shauna with Just Try To Be Nice, and this is a video that I'm so excited to bring you. Uh, this is my prayer journal, and my prayer journal is something that is so close to my heart, and I am so proud of it. And it was, it is probably, aside from my twins and Haley and my marriage and my house, it's probably my greatest achievement. It is my greatest crafting achievement ever, and I have done quite a few crafts in my day so that's saying something and what my prayer journal is is it's um okay I should explain why I have it first we were going to churches and uh, we were really 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 into church from when the girl when we first moved here like the girls were like one when we started going and then when Hannah was diagnosed with autism about three and a half to four Leo settle when Hannah was diagnosed with her autism about three and a half to four is when we really, really started having problems with churches. And we were politely asked to leave a couple. And a couple, we we just didn't feel welcome in a couple of them. One of the girls, one of the places that we went to, um, it was older, it was an older church, and there was an older people. And I overheard one of the ladies saying to one of the other ladies, when did we start letting retards come here? And she said it loud enough that if I could have heard it, then Hannah could have heard it because we were together. And I just, I never went back to that church after that. I just was like, no, that's not the church for us. And then one of the churches that we went to actually disbanded, if anyone's ever heard of that happening. Um, someone in the church murdered someone else in the church, and half of the church felt that the person was guilty, and the other half felt that the person wasn't guilty, and the half that felt that they were guilty left and went to another church. And then we found a church on Craigslist, and the, the church was like, have you been kicked out of other churches? Do you not feel welcome in your church? Then come to our church. So I did. I drove an hour to a black church in Concord, which I grew up in group homes, honey. I've been to my fair share of AME, Zions, and temples. I love a friggin' temple. My husband was a little unsure about it. My husband was like, honey, I don't know if our kids are going to be accepted if you're the only white family there. And we were the only white family there. But uh, everybody was fine. The problem was they didn't have a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> They wanted me to be the Sunday school teacher, but didn't tell me that they wanted me to be the Sunday school teacher. So, like, I show up, and I go to put my kids in Sunday school, and they're like, oh, we don't have a teacher. Can you do that? And I'm like, uh, yeah, since they're my kids, I'll watch them today. And then the next Sunday, I showed up, and it was the same story. And I was like, okay, no, 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 no. I did not just wake up yesterday. This is not going to work. And we've been to a few churches here and there, and we tried a church right up the street from us. It's very, very, very popular in Charlotte. It is the number one church, and everyone loves it. Um, and I thought because it was so loud and there were so many people that Hannah screaming and being a dinosaur wouldn't be that big of a deal and that we would just kind of blend in with everything else. But it was too much for her. It was too loud. It was too... It, she, it caused sensory overload, and she couldn't handle it. So that church didn't work. And I just started getting really defeated. And I would pray about, you know, Lord, I will go where you tell me to go. I'll drive an hour if that's where you want me to go. You know, Lord, make a way, and I will show you. That's what I want. But every church that we went to, it was like, this isn't right. This isn't this isn't the one for you. So we, I just got very discouraged and stopped going. But then my prayer became... You know, Lord, I have to teach my wor my girls the word of the Lord. So I would try to tell them the stories of the, you know, Jonah and the whale and Noah and the ark and um, David and Goliath. The problem is my kids have autism. So if it's not a story of Jonah getting eaten by a dinosaur, my kids don't care. If it's not a story of David and the princess Goliath, my kids don't care. So I really had to pray on that because every time I would try to tell them a story, they would go into meltdown mode and not want to hear me and get on the ground and start kicking and screaming. And if that's the reaction that your kids have to the every time you try to tell them a story from the Bible, they're not going to be too keen on the Bible later on. So I was like, this isn't working. You know, I can't just tell them the stories of the Bible, even though I'm a great storyteller and I tell the stories of the Bible so well. My kids were not sold. So I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed about it. And I prayed and I, Lord, please tell me, what do I do? How do I teach the word of the Lord to my children? And, you know, after, after a while, the Lord came back and answered me in prayer and said, yes, your children only love dinosaurs and they 
only love princesses. But you know, there's one other thing that you didn't realize that they love, and that is you. They love you. So if you do something, they're going to love it based just on the fact that you did it. So then I was like, okay, so you want me to create some sort of a visual representation of the Bible for my children. Do you want me to make movies? Do you want me to draw comics? What would you like me to do? And then the word came through that I am to do a picture representation of the Bible for my girls. So that is what my prayer journal is. It is my prayer journal. As I'm going through this, I'm reading every book of the Bible, and I'm not reading the Bible like an encyclopedia where I look up something on backsliding and I say, oh, okay, that's what I, that's the verse I needed. Okay, and then I close it up. Or I'm in church and they say, today we will be reading from Isaiah. And then I turn to Isaiah and I read that three or four chapters. No, I actually read the Bible like a novel from start to finish and read it where the main character in the novel was God. That's how I looked at it. This is a book. The main character of the book is God. These are the events that occur in the book. This is the beginning, the middle, and the end. And I looked at it like I would look at any other project where I was breaking down a book and trying to recreate it. So this is my prayer journal and slash um, my... Oh, it's a prayer journal. My gratitude journal is in there as well and my index, but I haven't gotten to that part. So let's just start, get started real quick. I'm already six minutes in. So this is the cover of my prayer journal, and it's it's one of those scrapbooks that I get from um, Michael's for four ninety nine. It's not even that fancy, and I just took a piece of um, part like hard con hard con construction paper and put it underneath there, and then covered this with just plain old scrapbook paper. It's nothing even fancy, and then this was a stencil, and so I stenciled "Keep Calm and Pray On," and then I put the little puzzle piece up there because my girls have autism and. Most of the time, if I'm coming to this book, I'm coming to it because of that. So that's why I put that up there. And so you flip it open. Oh, and it's got um, contact, clear contact paper on top of it because it was getting stuff spilled all over it. I don't know if you can see. It was getting stuff spilled all over it. So I covered it with clear contact paper because I thought this project would take me six months. But now we're about two years in, and I'm still not done. And so this is the inside cover. It's just a really pretty picture. This is all from a book that I got. It was actually a book on dream interpretation or something so I took a couple of the pages and I just really liked them and uh, so that's blank that I'll add something to that in, at a later date and then um, I read I was as I was reading it said um, in Psalms 104 I will enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise and I really feel like that's important like you whenever you come to the Lord especially if you're coming to the Lord because you want something like help with your kids with autism or help giving your children the word of the Lord. If you're coming to him and you're saying, hey, can you help me out? You want to enter his gates with praise. You want to say, thank you so, so much for these blessings that you have given me of these children. And I feel more honored than you can imagine to be their mother. But I kind of need a little help. And thank you so much for giving me the strength of character to come to be able to come to you and say, I need help. You know, that's how you need to do that. So the very first thing that you open to when you get in, even before the contents, even before the contents of this book is praise. And this is the picture. And I drew this picture. It's just a simple little tulip. It's nothing fancy. And uh, it's, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. And these are all the things in my life that I am thankful for. And I'll show you. You can pause it and read them if you want to. These are all the things that I am thankful for. The fact that I love my children, actually love them. That the Lord blessed me with a unique life that is like not like me, one of a kind. So these are the things that I am thankful for. So the first thing you do is you enter his gates with thanksgiving and praise. So I have a page of praise. And then I have the contents. And these are just the contents of the book. So like praise is page one and table of contents is page two, three, and four. So 
you get it. Da 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 da. There's a table of contents. That's pretty simple. And this is still in pencil. I haven't gone over it in pen yet because I learned the lesson the last time I did one of these books. You never write this crap in pen until this book is done because you don't know what can happen. So that's still in pencil. And then there's still some space here at the end that I haven't even figured out like what to put in. And then this is my prayers. And these are, there's a prayer. There's a section for everyone in my prayers. There's a section for me, for me as a wife, and for me as a mom. And then that will be determined at a later date. It'll probably be for me as a, as a friend or as a mentor or something like that. But let's go back to here. I want to show you this. And then, so this is praise, and it's just a really pretty cross, and there's some Zentangle designs back there. And here's what I want to show you, and this is something that I do a lot in my art, is I will draw a very pretty picture, and I will hide stuff in it. Like, you have to really, like, look to find it. I do that a lot. And it's usually, like, I will draw a very pretty, like, for instance, I drew a picture of a very, very pretty dragonfly. It's probably one of my prettier dragonflies. They're hard to draw. And inside the middle of the dragonfly, in the body of the dragonfly, in Japanese, <laughs> because nobody speaks Japanese, but in Japanese, inside the middle of the butterfly, it says, Mother, I hate you. You ruined my life. And I know that you're kind of like, what? But it really helps me to deal with, like, cathartically my therapy and foster care and shitty mom and shitty dad. It really helps me to deal with all that to make something beautiful and hide something like that in there that I know that that's in there, but nobody else knows that it's in there. And out of that, out of Mother, I Hate You, You Ruined My Life, everyone else will see a beautiful picture. So I do that a lot. So here's what I did. And this is actually in Arabic. I, there's a lot of writing, a lot of, uh, in my Bible, I have a lot of Arabic and I have a lot of Hebrew and I have a lot of e Hebrew and Arabic in here because the Bible was originally written in Hebrew and Arabic. So I have a lot of Arabic and Hebrew, and this is Arabic for, let me see if I can get it, to, there we go. I will put my trust in the Lord and his word, and then trust in the Lord with all your heart, and that's over here. Lean not on your own understandings, and then this one is soften my heart, open my eyes, Move my feet and hold my tongue. And that is up here. And this is just a prayer that I wanted, you know, to have in here because this is, you know, this is basically what I want this book to do. So I put it up here. So that's something I do a lot. And then this is my prayer page and it's just a girl praying. It's just a real, this is out of that tarot or uh, out of that dream interpretation book. And it was at Goodwill for 50 cents. The book was at Goodwill for 50 cents. And this actually, this is very funny. This was from a book that I bought in Sarasota, Florida at a thrift store. But this bookmark comes from a church that I used to go to in Asheville, North Carolina. So I don't even know like how that could happen or how that even could be. But I absolutely had, and I held on to this for so long until I found somewhere special to put it. And that's where I put it. And every time I look at this, it just shows me that God does bless me. He absolutely blesses me. And he's been watching over me my whole life. And this proves it. And then pray the hardest when it is the hardest to pray. And then these are just some sample prayers. This is a prayer that I pray for myself when I don't know what else to pray. Normally when I pray, I just pray from my heart. I talk from my heart. I pray from my heart. I don't do a whole lot of thinking ahead of what I'm going to say in life, let alone in prayer. I'm really uncensored in prayer. But sometimes I'm like at a loss for what to say because I'm so overwhelmed or I'm so upset or I'm, I'm just... I've run out of things to say, but I still feel like I need to pray. So I'll open this up and I'll just say these prayers wrote. I'll just say them again and again and again and again. And so there's one for just me as a person. And then there's one for me as a wife. And I believe I got this off of Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31 wife. And then this is for me as a mom. And so then you flip it open. And then I have a prayer for my husband. And then I have a prayer for my daughter. And then I have a prayer for my Hannah Banana. And then I have a prayer for my Kylie Ann. 
And then I also have a prayer for my stepson, Adam, and my son that I gave up for adoption when I was 15. And I normally do pray for them, but I don't have like a specific prayer for them. And this is Leo, and that's my cat, Cheeto, that passed away. And that's my other cat, Itty Bitty. And I do pray for them, but I don't have a specific one of these prayers because generally after I've said these, I'm good. But I will fill this out. And then this is a prayer for my future. And then this is a prayer for my past. And the reason why this paper is here is because it's kind of, I kind of hide it. Like I don't want it. It's a part of the book, but I don't really want it to be a part of the book so it's a separate part of the book if that makes sense and if you saw my bible scrapbook bible books then you saw i do this a lot piece of scotch tape on here flip it over piece of scotch tape and it's instantly in the book and this is a prayer that i came up with in 10 17 of 04 and it's how do i forgive you when i'm still so angry at you and the question was i asked someone <coughs> how can i forgive my mother and move on <clears throat> when I'm so angry at her and I feel like she does, she just, I'm not just going to let her off for everything that she did because she died. So they said, go home and pray on it. And then this is what came to me as, as an answer to my prayer is a prayer, just a mantra, a prayer. Um, you can look at it however you want to, but this is what it says. It says, mother, mother, mother of mine, mother, mother, mother and daughter are intertwined. Mother, mother, set me free. Mother, mother, let me be. Hold me back. Please do not. In your tangled web of lies, I am caught. Set me free, set me free, I will be great, just you see. Your lies, your lies, I know they aren't true. With you I wish to be through. You've, you're chained to me like an anchor, just let go and go see the maker. A life without you I wish for me, please go on and let me be. And, yeah, I feel a little bit better about it, but not a whole lot better, so that's why I keep that prayer in there. Even though I've had it since 2010, which is two years, three years before I did this book, I put it in there because I still need to say that prayer so that I can move on and not be stuck on all that. So that's why that's there. And then you flip over that, and then there's a prayer for my marriage, for being the best mom, the best wife, and to be the light, like how to share the prayer, to share the word of the Lord, which I got no problem with that. And then be joyful always. And that's Thessalonians. And this is my gratitude journal part. This is the part of the journal that's gratitude. So you've got my Thanksgiving. And then you've got just a page, just an open page. And then you've got a page for every day, every month of the year. So this is January and then February. And I've got some stuff in here that I haven't actually put in yet. And there's March. And then this is, it was just a nice little card that Haley wrote me. And then this is April, April showers. And then there's a picture that Kylie drew, and there's an award that Hannah won. And then here's May, and then these are just some things that I was thankful for in May in 2013. Blackjack gum. And then this is a picture of Rose Tyler from Doctor Who, and it says, I am thankful for Doctor Who. Um, it, it allows me to dream of the stars and the TARDIS. And then this is it from when Kylie went to the hospital. And I'm thankful that she's not sick anymore. And just little things that I'm thankful for. And then here's some some more little things just, you know, that we did. And and some more pictures and some award, some, some more, more awards that the girls won. And there's, there's a picture of Hannah's dinosaur on the cell phone with sunglasses in the sun. And there he is riding skateboard. And then these are just some little things that I picked up. Like we went to Adventure Island and there's a good fortune teller, a fortune cookie. And then this is from Sweet Frog, which is a great ice cream place. And that's just a cute little thing that Hannah picked up. And then this is from Dress Like a Cow at Chick-fil-A Day. And then this is Death to Selfie. My friend gave it to me from her church. I just love that so much. <coughs> so there you go. And then... There's a cute little picture. This is the first picture that Hannah ever drew that wasn't a dinosaur, and she drew a My Little Pony for her sister. And then this is August, and I just put some, like, fall leaves, because, you know, leaves fall in August. There's a picture of Hannah's school, and then this is a splatter picture Kylie did, and there's another dinosaur, and it says, I love you, and then there's a little, look, see, Hannah drew me a dino card, and it says, I love you, Mom. Oh. And then there's some, sep there's a picture for September, and then October. And then November, and then December, 
and then for the whole year of 2013, because I absolutely thought that I would be done with this by 2013, because I started it in January of 2013, but you see I'm not. And then this is the first page of the Old Testament, so I'm going to stop the video here, and I'm going to start with the New Testament, or the Old Testament, and then, and I'll see as much as, I, I'll do as much as I can in 15 minutes, but I feel like this might take a little while, so I'm going to stop there, but that is part one of my prayer journal, gratitude journal, and um, index for my girls. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you do, comment and let me know so I don't feel like I'm the only one out there that's doing this kind of stuff. So I hope you guys liked it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!